So, good afternoon everyone. I'm so happy to see all of you here and thank you for staying here with me. So, before starting my speech, I'm gonna ask a question from you. Have you ever experienced any change in your life? If you have, raise your hand. Okay, so, accepting that change was a difficult situation for you? If you have, raise your hand. Okay, so, in the talk, now I'm going to talk about the stages of accepting any kind of change in your life. So, any kind of change has an impact, has a great impact on your emotional state. Your brain will have to pass through different kind of emotional states in order to accept the change. So let's start that with the uh, change and with the states and let's talk one by one and I will try to explain it with my um, example. So two months ago I started working as a teacher at school so that process was a change for me. I didn't have any experience like that before. So, at that time, I went to the school for the first time and my colleagues, I mean, the school staff was looking at me like, who the hell she is? What's going on here? And they didn't want to accept me. They didn't want to see me because they didn't know me, my capabilities and my intentions. So, that was the first stage when they looked at me like this. So, it is called shock. In that stage, people try to refuse what's going on with them. And they try to refuse and change. And after that, after some time, I realized that my school colleagues, I mean English teacher, started doing some bad things to me, I mean behind me. They, that things had a negative impact on my relationship with the head of that school. When I noticed that, I was really sad. It was a really hurting point in my life. So then I started wondering what's going on with them? Why they are doing so kind of things to me? And then I searched on the internet and I found that accepting change is a big process and it has different kind of states. And they were in the second stage. They just call it anger. When they encountered the change, once they were they passed in that first stage, I mean shock, they start to resist that kind of change because they are fearful that they might lose what they gained. So, maybe because of this, they start doing negatively. So, that was the second stage. After that, once they experience the two stages, they come to the third stage. That is called acceptance. In that stage, people try to realize that what is the true meaning of the change in their life? What kind of benefits they can take from that change? So, after they realize that, they start, they start to think positively and they start uh, to stop thinking about what they have lost. So, after that, they came to the final stage. This is called commitment. In that stage, people start to restructure their way and they start to be get used to the new situation and they start to be more productive and more successful. So, that was all things about the accepting change. And once they will pass all of them successfully, that people should know what kind of change is happening with them and what is the true meaning of that in their life. They have to know that their change can be a turning point in their life. They become more successful if they accept it 